Hi, so my name is uh, Dr. Siddharth Verma and uh, I am a spine pain physician from Mumbai. Uh, in this talk, I'm going to tell you about cool radiofrequency ablation of the hip joint. And why it is important is that it has a very high incidence of about 10% in 45 plus population. And as the population is aging, the number of patients uh, who have chronic hip pain is growing. So the common causes of chronic hip pain include osteoarthritis, hip fractures and dislocations, labral tears, bursitis and avascular necrosis. So for the basic anatomy, hip is a ball and socket synovial joint. It transfers the weight between the upper and lower parts of the body and allows the movement in the multi-action planes. This shallow joint is provided depth and stability by the labrum, which is a fibrocartilage covering the estabular rim. The hyaline cartilage covers the articular surfaces, uh, which are shown here, and dissipates the shear and compressive forces during the hip motion. Now, these ligaments of hip joint, they give hip joint stability and they are quite tough. So, iliofemoral ligament and pubofemoral ligament are the ones which are supporting anteriorly and ischiofemoral ligament is the one which is supporting this joint posteriorly. So the bursae of this joint, they are many, but the clinically important ones, they are the trochanteric, illosoas, uh, gluteal medius and ischiogluteal bursas. They act as cushion between the bone and tendons around the hip joint. So for the applied anatomy, I will quote this uh, very well done image uh, from one of the papers and it shows the lateral branches of obturator nerve, they provide the anterior medial innervation. So you can see uh, this picture. So the darker shaded portion uh, shows that most studied studies have uh, revealed that this information, this uh, innervation is provided by this particular nerve at this point. Articular branches of femoral nerve, they supply the anterior portion of the joint capsule. Uh, the sciatic nerve, it supplies the most of the posterior hip innervation as concurred by most of the studies. Uh, also for groin pain, uh, the trochantic pain is carried by lateral articular branches of the femoral nerve. So if you see, uh, this is the accessory obturator nerve, uh, which supplies this region. Uh, this is the region supplied by superior gluteal, and this is the region which is supplied by nerve to the quadratus femoris. And these nerves may be responsible because it's not possible to take care of all the nerves. Uh, so it is very difficult to exactly diagnose and here lies the importance of diagnostic procedure in, uh, in these situations. And also, uh, even after a positive uh, diagnostic uh, procedure, there the patient has to be explained about the chances of procedure failure. This is a picture showing the same uh, in, a, in a bigger view. So you can see the femoral nerve area, obturator nerve area, accessory obturator nerve area, then nerve to quadratus femoris. So this is this area and superior gluteal one and the sciatic nerve. So I think this is pretty much clear. So what are the difficulties? The difficulties is that uh, many studies have been done and there are differences in innervation of the hip capsule uh, and inter-individual variations are there. So that makes uh, the job uh, even more difficult. Uh, moreover, the hip joint is responsible for a variety of movements. So external rotation, internal rotation, extension, flexion, abduction and adduction. So it is very important to understand that uh, uh, these movements will be affected not only by the issues of the hip joint, but also uh, by the issues of any of these muscles. Okay. So the American College of Rheumatology or Arthritis Foundation, they came up with a guideline in the management of hip osteoarthritis, also the hand and knee osteoarthritis. And if you can see the RFA finds uh, a, a mention in conditional recommendation uh, for this uh, type of, uh, you know, the pain which is due to the arthritis. So it is now started coming in the guidelines as well. 
so the indications for crfa that is the core radio frequency they they uh, they are basically for achieving a significant clinically meaningful long term that is in months to years improvement for advanced osteoarthritis avascular necrosis and previous arthroplasty of the hip joint so what are the advantages of this technique it is this long term improvement which we are aiming at and also the lesion size is big so we need not be parallel to the nerves to achieve the optimal results so the diagnostic procedure is implicated these pictures are attributed to the paper by um, kapural et al i have put the link in the references and lateral obturator and femoral articular branches uh, nerve blocks they are given for diagnosis and the ap views are uh, were used in their studies for the lateral articular obturator branch blocks with the needle directed to the bottom of the fluoroscopic landmark called the incisura estabuli okay and the outer upper pole at the 10 o'clock or 2 o'clock position of the joint approximately 1 cm outside the joint was used as a landmark for lateral articular femoral branches okay so uh, i have quoted this beautiful paper and many of the colleagues have followed this technique and they have got good results uh, including me as well so this cool radio frequency procedure uh, these are the pictures which are uh, beautifully shown so you see this tear drop appearance uh, and here the needle is placed if you get a motor stimulation here which is uh, a common you can go slightly laterally and uh, the author in his paper has mentioned that he also targeted a point which is slightly below this and lateral to it and uh, this was because uh, gofeld and colleagues they found uh, that the obturator nerve had rich uh, supply here as well so the variations could be covered in a much better way and uh, this point for the femoral branch remains the same as described another thing which the author has done is that he because the 17 gauge needle is a thick needle and he has avoided the puncture of the vessels using uh, ultrasound to guide his trajectory initially and not only that he has measured and mentioned please go through this paper and he has measured and mentioned what distance is uh, you know the uh, the needle from the uh, the vessels and he's measured that and he's found that for the femoral the distance is uh, uh, usually more than 1 cm but for the obturator it is as less as 0.5 cm so you're passing quite close to the vessel so it's uh, a combined technique is therefore recommended so there's lot of future directions and there are in the increased adoption and new uses so uh, this particular case report indicates this that rf is here to stay and uh, not only for pain but also for definitive management so more and more uh, you know researchers as they pile up the data not only for the uh, the articular branches ablation but also for some of the uh, uh, other conditions which can be benefited by the use of this technology this is another uh, paper very recent one also indicating the same uh, uh, things and uh, same indications and you can see that here it shows the diagnosis and percutaneous radio frequency ablation treatments but only difference is that uh, you have to maintain the sterility and as a result i think uh, uh, this will be uh, extremely important so i think uh, i have clarified all these things and uh, for those of you who are uh, seeing this for the first time let me also tell you that uh, we are going to uh, i'm going to update the description and i'm going to post uh, the links in the uh, in the uh, description here for the journal club uh, which uh, we uh, are having uh, today at the time of uh, posting this video so in a few hours and if you see um, i think it's a uh, very Uh, clear that uh, uh, this 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 uh, information will be extremely useful so just uh, i am going to share my screen again just hold on for a second 
yes so these are my references which i have used and uh, some of the images have been taken from these references so guys these please visit these references i'll put the uh, links in the description as well and for the next step the secret of getting things done is to act so join our mailing list i'll post the whatsapp group um, link also suggestions comments will are welcome and uh, please make sure that uh, you attend or watch the recording of this uh, journal club which will be posted uh, today and i will also add to the description or uh, uh, sooner uh, in the in the in the description box thank you so much take care and keep learning guys